with my DIY. Welcome to my channel. I'm sitting here and uh, having so much fun playing with these pencils and I'm thinking about the teachers. It is Teachers Appreciation Week and the school year is ending and it's so important to show our teachers a heartfelt gratitude for all they do. They make a huge difference in our children's lives. That's why we gotta show them how much we appreciate them and their hard work. So in this video, I wanna show you a couple of cute and expensive gift ideas for the teachers. Let's get started. First, I wanna show you how to create this beautiful pencil vase. It's a vase made out of pencils. And it's not my original idea, but I've been making these for the past three years and every time we give it to a teacher, she's very happy to receive it. And I think it's worth the effort. It's also very inexpensive. I get all my products at a Dollar Tree. This year they have a pack of 16 pencils for a dollar, which is much better than previously 10 pencils for a dollar. We're gonna need 39 to go around this vase. You're gonna need the cylinder vase and any decoration like raffia, butterflies, or these adorable chalkboard wood stakes that they sell this year. I start off by putting a sheet of plain paper around the vase. The reason is because the pencils will stick better to a paper than to a glass. And now the fun part of gluing the pencils. I like to put my eraser down uh, because later on when I add the flowers to the vase, I don't want the leaves to cover the erasers. I think they're so cute and they add a little bit extra decoration. Uh, so as you can see, I'm adding hot glue, a dot at the top, middle, and at the bottom uh, to glue each pencil to the vase. And please excuse me, this is Coco bumping my tripod. And we continue gluing the pencils all around the vase. And of course, kids are excited to help as well. Like I said, the vase fits 39 pencils. So when you're down to the last one, it gets a little bit tricky. The space is tight and that pencil doesn't exactly go all the way in. It sticks up a little bit. But it's okay guys, it doesn't bother me. Uh, overall, this looks cute and you cannot even tell the difference when it's all done. Doesn't that look cute? I really like this. And now what I do is take uh, two, three pieces of raffia and tie it all around. Also, you could use any ribbon that you like or jute string. Anything like that will look cute, the, also depending on the flowers you choose. I like to use the green raffia. This is how it looks. Isn't it adorable? I think it is so cute. And now it's up to you how you want to decorate it. Since I have the little chalkboard stakes, I printed the teacher's names on the computer and I'm gonna transfer them with the help of some chalk and a pencil. Let me show you how I do it. As you see, I covered the back of the printout with the chalk. Then I place it directly in the middle of the little chalkboard and trace the letters with my pencil. As I lift it up, the teacher's name is transferred on the little chalkboard. For me, that's the best trick because all the letters look even and everything fits. Of course, you can go ahead and freehand it if you like. 
I also like to use fresh flowers in my vase. I think they're more special than the silk flowers. And, uh, you know, if you go to supermarket, you probably could find a deal like this one, three packs for $12. I think it's excellent deal. And I'm going to use some greenery from my garden, like this golden cypress. You know, you can find some greenery for free in your garden or at the park. Makes no sense to pay for it in the store. As you can see, I got excited and I made two pencil vases. <laughs> and uh, I had unwrapped all the flowers. And here's the vitamins that come with the flowers. I'm going to add them in. So um, make sure those uh, flowers last nicely for the teachers. And then we start off with the greenery, create a nice background for our flowers. So these are real branches, they're not perfectly shaped. So you know, feel free to just trim a little bit uh, things that stick up too much. And then I decided to incorporate some different leaves from my garden. These come from Lenten Rose. And uh, you know guys, don't be afraid to mix different types of greenery. It only adds dimension to the arrangement. And now we have a really nice base for our flowers. We just have to trim those stems. They're way too long. And uh, just insert them in. And then uh, we're gonna insert the yellow flowers. We're gonna keep the stems a little bit longer so they rise above the blue ones. I think it creates a very nice uh, arrangement that way. And then we fill in the second vase exact same way. And as you are done, take a step back and uh, look at it from another angle and see if you can adjust it a little bit here and there, move things around if you have to. I think this came out so cute, don't you think? And as usual, here's my cherry on the top, a little steak. Isn't that cute? I think it adds a little bit extra touch. And of course, I have a couple butterflies right there. What do you think? I think it's perfect now.
I also want to share with you a couple great finds from Dollar Tree. When I saw this adorable sign, to teach is to love, I mean, I got so excited. I love it. I had to get it. And also this hand cream is in an apple container. I mean, what else is more perfect, right? And it smells so good. It's actually a very good hand cream. So I'm happy to give it to the teachers this year. And here's one more look at the whole arrangement. I hope you guys like it. And I know some of my friends who are teachers are watching this. And I want them to go ahead, be honest, and comment down below. Would you be happy to receive a fresh flower arrangement in a pencil vase like this? Please let us know. We want to know. And here's my buddy Coco. She fell asleep at my feet as I was crafting. So this is one way of decorating your pencil vases. Uh, also, if you have any tree blooming in your backyard, like one time at this time of the year, I had a lilac. So I didn't have to buy any flowers at all. I just put that in the vase. And I remember teacher loving the fragrance of lilac. Who doesn't, right? Also, uh, pink and purple look very cute with those yellow pencils. Here's a picture of my daughter with her teacher. How cute, right? So go ahead, guys. I encourage you to go for it and make that adorable vase. You're not going to regret it. Couple more ideas for you guys is printing labels on a computer to include smaller gifts for a teacher. Like, for example, here, a couple nail polishes and uh, some sparkling uh, hand sanitizer and just saying, you know, thank you to the teacher for helping me sparkle or including a pack of push pins and saying, thank you so much for pushing me this year or symphony chocolate for your music teacher. Take note, you rock. Thank you for all you do. Isn't that cute, guys? Doesn't have to cost a lot, but be so cute. For example, I got this apple shower gel and a sponge, and then I found a label on a computer. A good teacher deserves an apple, you deserve a whole tree. So you can print the label of the computer, or you can just buy regular tags and write the message out. For example, this one with the extra gum. Thank you for being extraordinary. Isn't that cute? You can simply write it out with a chalk pen or just do it like me and type up the message and cover the back with the chalk and transfer it with a pencil on your a little tag. Either way, you know, whatever is easier, whatever works for you. I find this um, trick really easy for me because my handwriting is not that great. But uh, for you, it might be just much simpler just freehanding it. And when done, simply attach the tags to the gum with some string, and that's it. Doesn't this look adorable? I think it's so cute. And of course, it's the thought that counts. I think it's going to put a smile on teacher's face. And if you can afford, you can attach the gift card, of course. But you don't have to. At least it's something. And one last idea is to get your teacher a gift card for her favorite coffee shop. And instead of putting it in a card, you put it in a coffee cup. Here I have Starbucks cups where I drop the gift card and cup lined up with some uh, Starbucks uh, napkin, which made it look like a frappuccino. I added some whipped cream tissue on top, added a straw and tie a label which says, I'll miss you a latte. Then simply added teacher's name on the side. And here it is, adorable little gift that is surely gonna put a smile on the teacher's face. Alright guys, so this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I have inspired you a little bit to create something special for your teacher. And uh, if I did, please make sure you hit a like and subscribe to my channel so you could see more fun creative ideas in the future. And take care guys!
Have a good day and have a wonderful Teachers Appreciation Week, wonderful end of the school year. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. In this video, I want to show you how to create a few and inexpensive gift ideas for your teachers. Yes, Coco. Yes, yes. We have to appreciate our teachers. <laughs>